boys. That is rude. Rude kitty cats get shot with arrows. Those are the rules. Welcome back, everybody, to Inshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do a little more work on our uh, quarters for our NPCs downstairs. And then uh, one of you guys reminded me in the comments that I I need a um, a, a wisp wyvern head downstairs. I only have the one here, so we might go try and kill that thing again. And then we have, um, let's see, we have the greatest game and another sun temple there to uncover we could we could hit that flame shrine, but I, don't, but I don't know that we actually need to. It's not like I need to upgrade my flame any longer. So these are kind of the two main things uh, left. Plus, you know, we have five, you know, wrap-up quests to do. We might as well do those as well. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is I did go out and just kind of gather a, a little bit of more, um, what's the purple stuff called? Here, I'll show you. Uh this stuff, indigo, um, so we can make the carpenter's bed, and I have, uh, I also have some planted too, uh, but it's, you know, it's not mature yet, so let's go set his bed in place, and uh, his room is over here, we'll set it up um, against the wall, like... Take clipping off or snapping rather so that it doesn't clip. There we go. All right, so in this room, we did put this little wardrobe type of thingy, uh, or we could even you could even consider it like a little wash basin area. So I think each bedroom should have a rug, it should have maybe a table and a chair in one of these. So let's go see about that. Actually, let's do the rugs first. Uh, let's see, carpets. Got a new, we can do the sickle scythe trophy too if we wanted to, but not to worry about that. Okay, so carpets, um, let's see. Yeah, we got quite, we, mm, I don't have a ton of straw for those, do we? We got plenty to do the fur or even just the big straw mats. We could do one of these as well, but we can only do one until we get more indigo. So why don't we just give everybody a straw mat for now, since it's very cheap to make. Okay, so that gives us five straw mats. And then for tables, um, inside their room, wooden side table, I think those are pretty rough looking tables. Uh, they should all have a, a bedside table. What is this? Yeah, let's do a stone table and nightstand for the for our carpenter for our dwarf i know the game doesn't call him that but kind of looks like a dwarf to me i'm just saying <laughs> and i don't mean that as an insult either um anyway so back to tables 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 okay and then i think for everybody else i mean we could make We could make these, but I don't know. We got plenty of resources for them. I just don't know how they'll look. So let's make one. Um, but I mean, I, I don't think we can go wrong with with just the polished wood table because you know that that looks fine if you ask me. Um, and then for just something to keep in their room, I think that uh, how big is that? Might be better to go with this one. This one's obviously going to be a little bit larger. 
um, if we did the the palm table again I think that might be a little bit large let's do one of those and I think we're just gonna make four of those all right so let's start in here we'll put a rug and eh, maybe right about there and then we'll put a table up against this wall well no actually let's not let's pick that back up because we want to put the nightstand next to the bed and I think we had also talked about maybe putting some genie lamps on there so maybe the table goes here I'm just making this shit up as I go you know how it is okay and then we'll we'll make we'll make a chair we'll make each, each one of them a chair to put at their table okay so let's go into here this is the one that we made the stone for so we'll put the stone uh yeah that's the front nightstand next to the stone bed and maybe we'll put the stone table up against this wall and we'll put a nice rug down maybe at the foot of the bed okay that works for that now let's do off the lawn's room she's already got that rug underneath her bed Um, so let's do her a table here, right about in the middle of this wall. And guess we didn't. I, I think I'm going to give the palm wood to Balthazar. So she still needs a nightstand as well. So this is Emily's room. And her table can go right about there. And her rug can go here. Let's turn it that way. All right. So in Balthazar's room, yeah, we already gave him the palm bed as well. So that kind of makes sense to put the other palm stuff in here. right there and I I don't I don't know if I'm gonna dig his little hide secret hidey hole after all um I might have something else in mind but I ha haven't decided fully if I'm gonna do it so um yeah you guys will just have to wait and see <laughs> um and this this is actually the room that we should put the palm rug in as well Uh, yeah. Okay. So we need five chairs for each room. We need one nightstand for Othalon and a nightstand for Emily. Let's go do that now. Tables. Two nightstands. Um, we need to make the fancy schmancy color rug for Balthazar, because you know he's he's kind of like our upper class dude. Um, at least I'm imagining that. And then let's see two end table. Oh, chairs. Yeah, we need cha chairs. All right, so let's just 
well, okay, no, let's make, we'll make the stone chair for our dwarf. We'll make a very expensive palm chair for Balthazar, because anything that takes padding is very expensive. And then I think the other three will just make three of these. These are still nice chairs. Um, I think that I think they're all right. Okay, so you needed a nightstand. Let's put that on this side. And then you need one of these chairs. Okay. Let's go right over to here and give Athalon a chair and also the blacksmith. Okay, we'll give the carpenter a stone chair. And Balthazar, the palm chair. Why don't we do this? Just to do something a little different there. We also need to give him the fancy pants rug, which we'll put right at the foot of the bed, right about there-ish. There we go. Looking good. Okay, the other four need the wash basin, hutch cabinet thingamadoodle. Uh, where did we find that at? That under tables? Wall decorations, benches, chairs, fireplaces, beds. Uh, cupboards? Yeah, cupboards. All right, so we'll make this one for Balthazar. And this one for the uh, the rest of them. Do we have a stone version of this? I don't think we do. All right, so we need to make 40 more nails. These damn things are kind of expensive, man. Okay, that should be 40. Oh, what are we doing? We're doing cupboards, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Kind of... Hmm. They don't really need a wash basin. They got a bathroom. Whatever. Maybe this is like a... Whoops. Uh, maybe this is like a little pantry that they use so they can kind of have their own food in their room or something. I don't know. We're going to put one in each room anyways because we made the damn things. And you'll like it. Uh, this one probably should go here. Nope. It's too far out. we got to take snapping off. Eh, right about there. That's good. Okay. Let's put yours over here. We'll put yours over here. Oh, did I make too many? I think I made too many. Okay. Well, in that case, let's put this up in the kitchen for Emily. Hey. hey. Oh, she wants to talk to us too. That's right. Uh, 
Why don't we pick this back up? Let's put this in the corner. And we'll put this... Hmm, that's right in front of the fireplace. Might not be a big deal if we turn it this way, though. We'll put it all the way up against the wall. Okay, what would you like to say to us, my friend? Ring recovered. Oh, my lost ring. Thank you, Flameborn. This means the world to me. For you see, this ring is a powerful artifact. It is a blessing that traditionally passed down in the Frey family. Now that I think about it, I'll hardly be able to carry on that tradition. Besides, when I look at the ring, I see my mother's tired eyes. She never got to leave old Rose Shell Burrow. Keep it and let it see the world. Only when I'm cutting trees down, my dear. Okay, because that's all it's good for. <laughs> we didn't we didn't actually say that to her. You guys just thought I did. That would be mean after she talked about her good old mum. Okay, anyway, um I think I think we now want to make genie lamps. And we can make lots of these. So let's just let's start with five, and I also want to make some dishes. Okay, those are going to require glass. That requires indigo. Those are clay. Do you make, uh, speaking of splinters, I've got a splinter in my thumb that's driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, we can make, we can, we can make these. We got lots of metal. A copper jug. A bronze jug. Let's make one, two, three, four, five, and we'll make bronze bowls for them. Is that it? That's it. That is it, man. Okay, so we will put you there. And oh, you already have a, a jug. Okay. Then oh. Oh no. <laughs> I made too many of those. I guess each time I hit it it made more than just one, eh? But we'll put the bowl there for you. Uh, same thing here. We'll put that there and that there. And genie lamp can go on your nightstand. There we go. Oh, I never put your nightstand, uh, nightstand down. Let's put this on this side. And then we'll do genie lamp for you. And put that there and this here. Didn't I make five genie lamps? Hmm, okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do then. Let's put the other genie lamp in Emily's room. And we'll put her plates down. Okay, and Maybe since we have some extras of these, we'll put a couple of these down here too, because why the hell not, right? Okay. Put that stuff back in there. I guess I made an extra table, eh? Um, now we got a, a wooden cupboard there. What I think I want to do is let's go to elimination. Hmm. 
I was going to maybe make either a firefly lamp for Balthazar or one of these lanterns, but none of these are designed to f sit down on a little nightstand. So I guess we'll just make him a genie lamp as well. I mean, genie, sorcerer, you know, it kind of fits. Godspeed. There we go. Okay. Um, the only other thing I'd like to do is maybe put some pictures in each one of the bedrooms. Um, but that's going to take indigo. They're looking pretty damn good, though, overall. I mean, it's not the fanciest, schmanciest thing in the world, but it doesn't suck either. It's cozy. It's modest, but cozy. All right. So let's go out here and we'll pick all of this. We wanted to put some pictures, maybe a couple pictures in the common room as well. Um, I should turn at least one of these back into seed. So let's grab some water, some farm soil. Uh, yep, farm soil. Okay, so that leaves us with 24 indigo. Why does that do that? I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Um, pictures. Wall decorations. So 25, 18, 17. The craft. For fabric, we make that in here, right? No, we make linen in there. We make fabric in here. We're getting, starting to get kind of low on that. So let's split this in half. And we'll get some more fabric going. Um, you require, what do you require? Flax. Let's get some more. Uh, linen going. So, flax, flax, flax. Flax city, flax, flax. Let's grab these 50 flax. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. So, um, what do we have? We got a wolf, a warthog, wild pig, boar. Some flowers, a castle, a crane or a heron, a snake, a desert castle, and some fruit. All right. So each each of our NPCs gets two pictures. Emily, because she's a cook and a farmer, probably would like fruit, and she would probably like a desert temple because she's from the desert. Balthazar probably wants a snake, and I'm thinking a wizard's tower. Um, Athelon wants wolves and boars. Uh, our carpenter... What was it? Our, car our carpenter probably would like to have a wolf, too. And maybe... You know, he likes flowers. Right? And then the blacksmith would probably like a boar because, you know, boars are like blacksmiths. Don't ask me how I know that. I just do. And maybe we'll give 
am a heron because herons and blacksmiths are also just like this. Don't ask me how I know that. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Okay. So this is blacksmith's room. And so we said blacksmith wanted a boar and he wanted a heron. Uh, right here. Okay. So we'll put the boar here. Let's snap so everything's at the right level. Put the boar there and we'll put the heron right there. Our carpenter, he wanted a uh, a wolf and a flower. Because, you know, dwarves like flowers. Um, let's put the wolf... Well, we're going to have to unsnap to get it centered on the bed. And we'll put the flower above the table. It's not quite centered, is it? Right about... Uh, it's hard to see because my, my character is in the way. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Hunter. Hunter wants a wolf. Right above the bed. And the boar. Right above the table. Balthazar wanted a snake and a wizard's tower. Emily wanted the desert castle and some food. Yeah, that's good. Doesn't have to be exactly the same in each room. Okay, now um, I think what we're gonna do with when we get um, the fell wisp wyvern's head is we're gonna put it right in the center here, so we have three big heads and two little ones in between, and maybe we'll take this lovely monster and put its head over here. And what we'll do is we'll put you more over this way. This we will have to move and put somewhere else. Hmm. Maybe we put you kind of in the center of the room. No. Okay. Different plan. We're going to put you... Right there. And you... Uh, how come... R and mouse wheels not rotating that at an angle like it's supposed to. Do we have to take snapping off? Oh, we do. I didn't realize that. Okay. Okay. And then we'll put the wisp wyvern's head right there. Um. We might, once we get that in place, we might do something more with illumination on this wall. Potentially even doing something with glow blocks. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and wrap up the building for this episode. Um, and I have an idea. Yeah, I have an idea for using some glow blocks down there. Okay, let's go sleep.
All right, we need to make some more food. Here we go. Here we go. So for healing, I want that makes two. Let's make a couple of those. For constitution, a couple of those for uh, for archery. Make a couple of those, and for endurance, make a couple of those. A um, couple more. I don't know why some are one and some are three and some are five. Why, why can't they all just be the same? <laughs> don't get it. I don't get it, man. Okay, so we're good to go there. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do a flask of the fell and a wisp light. I just like to keep those at five. We're going to make one more of those, too, so we have... A 10. Um, we need Flask of the Fell, and I guess we're. I need to go out and collect some dragon, or not dragonflies, some um, fireflies for that, but uh, we'll be okay. We have 308 arrows. Um, why don't we also make 100 more arrows and turn them into poison arrows? Okay. I think we're in good shape. All right, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go to Ancient Spire Low Metals Fast Travel. I think, see, there's nothing there. There's this one here. Ancient Spire Nomad Highlands. Let's just go hit this flame shrine to for the purposes of completion. Um, but we need to get, where is a, yeah, pike meads. We need to get the, we need to get a pike mead to, or get two pike mead to kill the dragon again. So actually, you know what? Screw that. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So the closest way for me to get to pike meads is probably going to be ancient spire. Uh, I mean, yeah, rebel wood's probably the closest way to get there. Uh, which isn't close, <laughs> but uh, it's all we have to work with. All right, so I'll meet you guys over um, at the castle at Pike Mead's Reach so we can kill Wisp Wyvern one more time for this series. Okay, we are here at Imperial Gardens. Uh, we're all buffed up. Uh, we got our arrows going. Let's do this. Remember, okay, that's when he does that. All right, we definitely want to make sure we hit him when he rears up and does not that, but the other thing. I'm stuck. This, no, not that either. Yeah, that thing when he, when he does the bugs. That was just too easy. Too damn easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that gives us the other head. Take all that stuff. And mission accomplished. <laughs> I don't know if any of you watching this saw our multi, our last multiplayer episode where we attempted to kill this guy, but we all came in here and we were way under leveled for it. And it was a hard, hard fight. We eventually killed it, but... Yeah, it was crazy. Um, fun, though, but crazy. Uh, okay, I think what we're going to do... Let's see here. That's probably... We probably don't have enough time to do both of these in this, in this episode. So why don't we knock out this VUCA encounter... Um, and that means we should probably go to, uh, where is that at? Oh, right. That's, that's by the, the farm where we got the extra wheat. Um, I almost wonder if the low meadows spire might be, 
a faster way for us to get there. Let, let's let's go to the low meadow spire and we'll just see. Find the weapon in the VUCA camp. So we need to go Let's look at the map again. That's quite a ways away. Um <clears throat> Almost wonder if Okay, that Vuk camp has got to be in the highlands. It's not going to be down in the shroud because the Vuka aren't in the shroud. And getting there from hither is not going to really be feasible. So I think what we'll do instead is let's go to here. And then we'll see if we can just hoof it across the highlands to the VUCA camp. All right, let me look at the map again. We are here and we need to go there. Okay. Let's see if we can manage to work our way over there from here. I never really investigated that little city over there either. It's one of those underground places like Emily's place. You know, like an underground garden kind of thing. Oh, shit. Okay. We can either... Oh, yeah. We should be able to get around over there from this direction. In fact, I don't think I've ever actually been over here. Have I? No. Uh, we can hit that flame sanctum, too, while we're at it. Not that we need to, but, you know. Might as well. Take another big health potion. I will indeed. And a mana potion. Not that that's useful to us, but there it is. Let's see if there's anything in here to loot. Yeah, that. No. Cut it out. Greater health potion and... Greater health potion. Okay. Cool. Luca Place should be not too much further over this way. That's probably sage, right? Yeah. Down with the sickness. Uh, okay. Are they gonna be up, down, or around? I think, I think that's all new. Never been there. There might be a chest over there, but I'm not too worried about it. Boys, that is rude. Rude kitty cats get shot with arrows. Those are the rules.
Interesting place. So there's going to be a VUCA encounter here. Why are there VUCAs in a human village? That's the first time I've seen that in this game. I mean, I guess they, they were also in one of the... One of the temples that we rescued one of our craftspeople from. Probably the hunter. Is that going to break? Uh -huh. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> that was very lucky. Look at that. Hidden chest. Okay, uh... Hola! Oh shit! Are we at the right place? Oh, we're not even at the right place, for goodness sakes. Let's just assume this was the place. That's what I get for assumption. The mother of all F-ups. Now, are we going to fight a big hair boss here, or do we just have to take out a bunch of Vukas? I guess we're going to find out here in a moment, aren't we? Oh, nice block, dude. That was impressive. Don't remember ever seeing them do that before. I see you up there. I see you up there, yo. get up there <laughs> oh, that's funny did he oh look at that I think that's wolf's hydra level 18 i think that was the quest right yeah that was it okay um yeah this is definitely not something we want uh, we don't want that what is this a vaporous staff it's a level 18 ranged weapon um, compared to our level 47? Nope. We'll salvage that. Um, we can't salvage those, which, again, don't understand why. Doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. Cool. Okay, so we opened up that flame shrine, and we got this quest out of the way. Uh, somebody was telling me that the southern caravan quest was bugged. And it does seem to continue coming up on um where's this at oh wait what uh it does seem to keep coming up with emily like as if i haven't done it yet glenwood's end i didn't know there's a treasure there um okay so that's yeah that's right there 
All right, let's just knock that out. And then I think what we're going to do after we do that is we're going to wrap up this episode. And the next episode, we'll finish up the common room with a little design that I have in mind. Nothing super fancy, but it'll be cool. And then after that, we'll finish our remaining quests uh, and including doing these two things over here. And then that'll pretty much wrap up the entire map. We will have been pretty much everywhere. Uh, there is one flame shrine here we didn't hit, but honestly, don't think that's a that big of a deal. Uh, okay, so let's get up here. And we are headed to Glenwood's End, so let's make this... Wait. Yeah, Glenwood's End. Make that our quest, which is going to be over this way. I'll see you guys over there. So this is where we fought a Matron boss. Um, but I didn't realize there was a treasure here. I mean, didn't we get a treasure while we were here, though? We spent a lot of time here, as I recall. What was the thing he say again? You gave the farmer strawberries. Their flavor reminded Emily of her old home, which used to be a bountiful oasis before disaster struck. In exchange for the berries, she revealed a location of a buried treasure in the trash pit of Glenwood's End. Why would Emily, who's from way out east in the Kendall Waste, know about a treasure way out west, northwest to be precise? Oh, hey, look. I'm just curious. She that, that girl gets around, man. That's all I got to say. Uh, and I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Uh, okay, so we got to find a trash pit. Get out of here. Um, trash pit. Where the hell do I remember seeing something like that? Uh, there was, if I remember right, there was something out kind of back this way. Yeah, right here. Well, actually, I don't know. Is this a, considered a trash pit? Find treasure in the landfill at Glen Woods Inn. It says we've reached the location. Okay. Um, so it's probably underneath this. Oh, yeah. A Wildwood Shortbow, level 15. All right. Well, that would have been nice back when we were level 15. <laughs> but uh, it's all about just completing the quests for the hell of it, right? Salvage both of those. Okay. So... Um, yeah, so we've got, this is back actually by, um, uh, whatever that city is all the way out to the far, far east. So we'll, we'll, we'll knock that out. The greatest game and that sun temple are the ones that are way down south here. So the plan will be to hit those two, um, and the, the underground thingamadoodle right here. In the next episode, we'll stop up here and, and check the... In fact, fact, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, check the treasure. And then, uh, yeah, so that'll be the plan for the next episode. Um, let's just run in here and check this really quick. Scorching one, level 25. Um, that's probably not as good as our ritual tempest wand. Oh, actually, no, nah, probably not. They're the same level, but this is an epic and this is a legendary. Plus, this one looks badass. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.